Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Launched in 2015, the 6.8 billion dollar KF-21 project is aimed at developing a 4.5th generation supersonic fighter jet. It is an attempt by South Korea to become self-reliant in fighter jet development which at present heavily relies on US built fighter jets. It currently operates huge fleet of US F-4 Phantom II, F-5 Tiger II, F-15 E Strike Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-35 Lightning II. The pace at which the KF-21 program is progressing is really commendable. Till now, South Korea has conducted more than 100 flight tests on six prototypes since the aircraft's maiden first flight on 19 July 2022. The sixth and the last prototype of KF-21 took its maiden flight on 28 June 2023. KI has planned total 2,000 tests to be conducted on these prototypes by 2026. From 2026 to 28, KI plans to manufacture the initial units of KF-21 Block 1. South Korea has also planned to have at least 40 of the new jets combat ready by 2028 and 120 by 2032. Till now, South Korea has built six prototypes of the fighter jet, which includes four single-seater and two twin-seater aircraft. The fourth and the sixth prototype is the twin-seater variant. Now, talking about the KF-21 fighter jet, it is a twin-engine 4.5th generation multi-role fighter aircraft. South Korea has sought technology assistance from Saab, Boeing and Lockheed Martin for development of the KF-21. The fighter jet is designed to have stealth capabilities exceeding both Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon but less than Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II. This is the reason why it is not considered to be a true 5th generation fighter. It is also expected to be superior to F-16 Fighting Falcon with 50% greater combat range, 34% longer airframe lifespan, better avionics, AASA radar, more effective electronic warfare and detailing capabilities. KF-21 has a length of 16.9 meters, wingspan of 11.2 meters and height of 4.7 meters and wing area of 501 square feet. The empty weight of fighter jet is 11,800 kg and gross weight of 17,200 kg. It has maximum takeoff weight of 25,400 kg. The fighter jet is powered by a 2G F414 afterburning turbofan engine with dry thrust of 57.8 kN and 97.9 kN with afterburner. The aircraft has a maximum speed of Mach 1.81. The fighter jet will have an ASA radar developed by Hanwha Systems with assistance from Israel's Elibit system. The radar is expected to match up the performance of F-35. KF-21 is capable of carrying up to 7.7 .7 tons of weapons and fuel under its wings and fuselage. The KF-21 Block 1 will not have an internal weapons carriage which is planned for subsequent production blocks. The initial version will also lack air-to-ground striking capability since the homegrown long-range air-to-ground missile is to be developed by mid of 2020s. The fighter jet will have 10 hard points, 6 underwing, 4 under fuselage. It can carry various air-to-air -air missiles such as MBDS Meteor, AIM-120 AMRAM, short-range infrared homing air to missiles, IRST, AIM Sidewinder, etc. In air-to-ground category, it can carry Taurus KEPD-350 cruise missile. Overall, it is going to be a decent 4.5th generation fighter jet, which is going to have high maneuverability, advanced weapons from air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missions, features to reduce radar signature and integration of radar and infrared sensors. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.